all right in this video I'll show you um, after you transferred the file from PMAG to Maxwell 3D so this will be the screen that appears and <clears throat> just click on fit all so from PMAG the 3D file was transferred and this is how it looks like you click on this one hold the left mouse click and just uh, try to just click on the X Y or you can do it this way orient top minus Z this is how it looks like if you want to zoom in there is a zoom button here but I on my Mac I just pinch inside so that it just zooms in <coughs> or with a mouse you can just with the ball you can just zoom in um, and if you want to orient it left Y this is how it looks like if I want to I'll just click on this one left mouse click and try to just adjust it a little bit so that I can see it and then I zoom in with the mouse or just pinch in uh, so this is how it looks like this is how it looks like actually the core and everything so we have to find out the flux density in the core the uh, core losses the copper losses how do we do that uh, uh, I'll show you that but before that so let me show you this way So this is just the air which is the bounding box uh, and uh, these are all the four conductors I think primary secondary and different conductors and this is the core material once you click on the plus and click on the core it highlights the core and one of the neat features is whatever you want to look at if I just want to look at the core you click on this I button with a brown red check mark show selected okay <clears throat> then if you want to show everything show this two right clicks and two right marks and the I button everything is on if I want to look at uh, uh, what I do is if I want to look at the conductor material 4 I just right mouse click select all and I just show only that portion so this is the I think this is the foil copper foil winding okay so that is under solids model uh, so under model you have solids which is the core material the conductors and the region which is just a box with it filled with air and under sheets the the beauty of shield is okay let me do let me show everything show everything i'll just orient it in maybe front front portion i just want to look at the front okay so i am under model under sheets uh, there is current i'll select everything okay i'll just do a right click select all now I just click on the brown check mark with an eye this is the beauty of the sheets so whatever you saw in the P Mac um, uh, I just write okay no not right mouse I zoom out uh, and zoom in from here are the easy ways zoom in or pan is like you can just uh, pan um, you just left mouse click uh, I'll just to fit all and I zoom in little bit zoom area I just do this okay so this was the copper file okay I just do escape so that this two are the primary half primary this one is also half primary with four strands in each single wire 
this is the copper foil this is the secondary two parallel secondaries now I have to fit all notice one thing when you transfer from P mag to Maxwell it doesn't take into account the tape it just uses that uh, I'm just pinching in or with your mouse you can zoom in with the button uh, the ball uh, the rotating ball um, so it doesn't uh, bring in the tape that is quite common it doesn't bring in the bobbin as well but it assumes the shape of the bobbin if I do show all show all objects just click here fit all if you see I just click on here uh, it didn't really bring the bobbin did not bring the tape that is fine you don't need to model it uh, because there wouldn't be any losses in the bobbin so it only cares about the wire uh, and the core uh, this is how it looks like under first thing I will do is right click solution type I'll change it to eddy current so these were the three solvers I was talking about magnetostatic eddy current transient is what we care about I click OK under so it has changed uh, just throw some error but it does it's fine so everything we need to set up boundary we need to set up excitation mesh the analysis results field overlays is just showing the results of the flux density current density now from here what I would do is before getting into that I need to set up the core material one way of doing it is you just write uh, right click on the core material properties you can type in uh, you can show or select all libraries the so there is granta library as you see here granta library you need to have a license for it so ansys provides a separate license for buying the granta library i didn't care bother to buy it that means you cannot uh, use the materials like the tdk ferox cube they are all locked so it says encrypted here this is one material um, and uh, see everything is encrypted if i type in tdk TDK, TDK. See, uh, everything is inside Granta, and you cannot really access it. One way I did was access PC95. <coughs> TDK, or let me do this way. <coughs> PC95, 100 degrees C. I somehow found, and you just click on. Uh, I don't think you can view it mm -hmm. encrypted yeah it needs a license so we want to set it up separately so what I would do is before setting up I'll show you sh something called sheet scan so I'll show you how to uh, manually enter the core material properties and by using sheet scan and how to uh, the Maxwell will use uh, the parameters to calculate the core loss and how to bring in the permeability versus frequency so what we do is just minimize this thing and uh, click on Maxwell 3D there are there is one thing called design data sets it looks something like this under project there is another data sets it looks something like this so what I observed is uh, you need to enter the permeability versus frequency over here under project data sets you may have to enter because once I entered the permeability versus frequency it didn't really recognize for the core material um, so what I would do is I would uh, go to just Google you have just I typed in Google ferox cube just type in ferox cube ferox ferox cube 3f3 material and it gives up the data it gives a data sheet I just googled it and that's how I got here 
what you want to do is first thing you want to get the permeability versus frequency curve uh, and you also want to get the core losses okay what I would do is I would uh, I'll just zoom in for the core loss I would zoom in a little bit the better the resolution the better it is uh, I'll just take a screenshot screenshot I think uh, snipping tool new I think I'll just get it like this so it is in paint I think mm. file save as or you can do JPEG. Under example. Under example, you can say core loss. Core loss. JPEG file. Okay. Um, I think. Um, so the way I did is Maxwell 3D design data sets. You see sheet scan, so you can scan the core losses. Um, you click on this, it will appear something like this. File, uh, open. Uh, so under examples, under examples, I had all files. I had. Uh, okay, let me do this actually. had these uh, in here uh, 3f3 is there okay that's that's all we need so I come here click on picture load picture it will only detect the JPEG file um, it should be GP, JPEG or JPEG what I would do is I would click on the zoom button zoom 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 all right the way it works is you click on coordinate system you click on new click on point one that point one should be over here something like this okay what is the x value for this point x value is 1 and the y value is 10 and the x axis is in logarithmic scale y axis is also in logarithmic scale uh, then I click on point two. I select it over here. These two match because the x coordinate is the same. Y is different. What is the x value? X is still one. Y value is ten thousand. One, two, three, four. I click on point three. I click it over here. these two match 29 so what is the x value it is thousand thousand the y value is ten thousand logarithm then I click OK you see there is a dotted line which just matches this exactly so we have to extract this as a dot tab file or dot csv to um, enter the core loss because we are manually entering a material so curve new curve x axis it doesn't unit I'll say millitesla b millitesla unit for y is um, kilowatt meter cube I'll just uncheck this monotonicity in x and I'll click here I'll say x axis for first point uh, I just want to get three curves for the core loss 2500 200 x axis I'll say 25 kilohertz just because it will automatically save it as x axis 25 kilohertz y axis that's how it will save okay you, you see the dot button make sure you get, get as many points click over here with the left mouse click 
it will get a point then it will get another point the more points you have the better the resolution of the core loss so keep on clicking it clicking it I'm getting as many points as possible sometimes the click is little here and there but overall you get the points now I do file export you see data set here it doesn't like the dash uh, let me see Once again, if you do it, it will throw an error. Let's begin with a letter or an underscore. Or it contain only letters, digits, and underscores. Okay. Already exists. So it already saved it. It's okay. Uh, I'll just do cancel. Now again, it already saved these. When I clicked on file and export, it saved it under this thing uh, then again I'll do curve new now I'll get 100 kilohertz so just put underscore don't put a dash 100 kilohertz here mm. B milli Tesla it doesn't really matter the unit here uh, meter cube just for our understanding uncheck this one click OK you get the dot this is the line we have to measure Just click here click here click here keep on clicking several points file export data set so it already saved it as x-axis underscore this now we need to get three because for calculating core losses actually it's based on something called Steinmetz I'll show you how it looks like it's it's cm times flux density raised to a power of some x then there is frequency raised to a power of y so we are we need to get the coefficient cm x and y 200 uh, okay uh, make sure click on so 100 kilohertz is done then you again click curve new now I want uh, 200 kilohertz 200 kilohertz Tesla cube click OK click here now let's say you are unable to get a pretty straight line so what you do is there is a zoom so just zoom in so that you can click where perfectly uh, wherever you want on this curve so there is a zoom button actually I'll show you how it works file again export this is the third one data set so it will save it as x-axis underscore 200 kilohertz so we have all the data sets so what you do is actually if you are unable to click you can zoom in and click more points so I'm actually done um, <coughs> now what I do is I just cancel this I don't need any anything so it will take you back see you you have got got the data something like this 
this is very important now what you do is you export this as a dot tab file I'll say 25 kilohertz loss okay no no, no this is 200 kilohertz, sorry 200 kilohertz save then click over here then also export because uh, you have to go back 100 kilohertz loss export 25 kilohertz loss you're done this is how the sheet scan works uh, I'll show you since we have uh, the so this is a permeability of uh, 2000 okay now there is another uh, let me do it this way uh, this one let me also uh, get this permeability mu prime or mu double prime is complex permeability uh, I'll just do a snipping tool save as make sure you save as a jpeg file this is perm permeability perm. i'll just say perm cancel this one again come back to sheet scan so what i observed is under maxwell date design data sets if i bring the perm the same way permeability using the sheet scan and i try to enter it here let's say right click properties because i have to assign a new material okay click on active project see i can if i do mm, like per pwl so here you can just put in 2000 if you don't care okay but if you want to be accurate there is something called piecewise linear pwl and i would do perm comma frequency but what happens is once I save the perm here under the data sets somehow it doesn't recognize I, I extract the perm I try to enter it in the core materials the perm is not recognized but it recognizes these three so what I did is I went to project data sets this is where I'll use the sheet scan here when you enter the perm the core material will be recognized let me show you what i mean uh, just expand this one file oh sorry picture load picture perm you do this zoom in all we need is this this is mu double prime is like a complex permeability uh, i only care about this perm at the moment then you click on coordinate system new here everything oh, it is also logarithmic I change this to logarithmic logarithmic point one click on point one I this is my point one then I have a point two which is this one so these two should match and these two should match point three uh, point three I'll click over here see it okay I didn't click correctly I think uh, whatever 34 okay what is the x value at this one this is point 0.1 10 power minus 1 is point 0.1 the value is 10 then at um, point 0.2 was this one it was still point 0.1 however it was 10 point 10 power 4 1 2 3 4 what was the third point third point was 100 this is the third point uh, third point is this what is the x-axis it is 100 and the y-axis is 10 power 4 10 logarithmic I click OK you see it just scans is perfectly then I do curve new uh, I say perm axis actually perm I just uh, just remove it okay 
Boom. Unit. <coughs> X axis megahertz. Y axis there is no value. I just remove this one and just let's try it actually. Like so I have here, click here, click here, 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 here. Just keep on clicking it. I do curve, uh, no, I do file, export, data set. So this is saved actually. Uh, let me see. I don't want to save this one. Cancel this one. So it comes up as like this. Edit. I think I'll just save it like this. The editing operation will cause the undo redo history to be cleared in source if you want to continue. Yes. So this is the permeability. Okay, it saves it with a dollar sign, which is okay. It is under project data set. So Maxwell 3D design data sets, then project data sets. The permeability is saved over here under project data sets. The core loss properties are saved over here under design data sets. You see these things. Now what I do is I right click go to properties now I want to add a material <coughs> this stupid material is what ferox cube material 1 ferox cube mm, 3f3 okay click on active project thermal modifier uh, let's leave it for now so I would do pwl piecewise linear Okay, then I do brackets. What was the data set name? Dot uh, perm, if I'm not wrong, or then f do frequency. This is something inbuilt frequency. So we have megahertz. Uh, so see, it didn't complain. Let me click on OK for now. Click on OK for now. Click on OK. Material 1 is our proper project. You have to exactly match this one. Perm. Perm. OK. Go back to Material 1. Properties. Uh, view or edit. Because we already created the Material 1. So. It should be PWL again. dollar per frequency this F should be capital because this is an inbuilt no come over here click on BP curve on click on power ferrite because it's a ferrite core then we have to come over here core loss versus frequency it will show something like this here what I want to enter is 25 kilohertz first data set was 25 kilohertz you have a drop down menu 25 kilohertz add it then I'll I already saved the data set so I'll import it then again you have 100 kilohertz add you have 200 kilohertz add okay for now 
uh, okay let's do edit data set um, I click on import data set you have 25 kilohertz uh, actually this we don't have a way to save it as milli tesla because if you remember our core losses were 3 of 3 right mm, 3 of 3 see oh. this was in um, milli tesla if you remember okay and the data set it assumes that it's milli tesla on the x-axis so however in ANSYS this is not that easy it takes this as Tesla so we have to go into each and everything put this point before like 0 0.06 because this is 96 milli Tesla so we have to change it for now I'll just click OK and it complains see the curve must start at zero this is another issue with it so what I do is I click over here I say add row above to zero here as well zero click OK then come to 100 kilohertz import data set 100 kilohertz again I'll do a append add a row above because it will keep complaining or else it won't compute it click OK 200 kilohertz import data set click over here go back to folder where you saved it actually it's un saved under example 1 open again click over here then say add a row above zero zero and this click OK see it automatically got the coefficients um, in the next video I'll show you uh, in detail what that really means click OK see it automatically got these core loss coefficients CMXY uh, click OK the editing operation will cause undo redo to be clear do you want to continue yes so it has a relative permeability if you go back view and edit it has a permeability with respect to frequency it has a core loss coefficient this is how you add a material in ANSYS Maxwell I'll get into detail in the next video